Forget DeFi summer because social tokens are literally going to take over the entire world. You've heard it here first. Well, not here first, because you because these guys beat me. All right, but I just want to I just want to dissect this and talk about it for, in my own words and just help you guys understand. Okay, save you guys the trouble of listening to a fifty-four minute freaking podcast. Although it's totally worth it if you want to do it. Oh, interesting. So you you think community tokens? Social tokens will be bigger than DeFi. Oh, yes. Wow. Do you think there's more potential there than like replacing banks? Yes. So that, of course, was Raul Powell. He was the ex-CEO of Goldman and Sachs dealing with hedge fund. He's one of the very few people that actually predicted the 2008 global financial crisis. And uh, yeah, this guy knows quite a lot about cryptocurrency and if you've been in cryptocurrency space a lot you would have seen his name pop up all the time he's saying that right now that the social tokens are basically going to take over DeFi, and we all know how well DeFi has been doing as you can see like DeFi growth has been absolutely exponential it's gone parabolic and to hear that ralph reckons that you know social tokens are actually going to do so much better than DeFi. Well, that blows my mind because I'm very, very bullish on DeFi. Maybe, you know, we should all be focusing on social tokens as well. And before you click away, guys, social tokens, right, doesn't mean shit coins. In fact, social tokens have one of the most broad meanings, as you can see right here, right now. We've got personal tokens, community tokens, social platform tokens, right? It goes into depth about social tokens and, and what it is all about. And you know what? It's really interesting some of the take that Raul Pal has. He says that DeFi is a one business model, whereas social tokens is every business model. The fact that there is community around it is what what's going to form that network effect. If you think about it though, cryptocurrency was actually born out of the network effect. Raul Powell talks about network effect a lot. Network effect is actually part of the reason why cryptocurrency and a lot of mooning of assets, like even including stocks, have happened in the past. So if you look at, for example, GameStop and AMC, the network effect really came from the Wall Street bets. And the network effect is something that I've actually talked about in this channel previously. The network effect is a phenomenon whereby increased numbers of people or participants improve the value of good or service. So it basically means just because more people are jumping in, the better it actually becomes, right? And that is not a negligible effect in the cryptocurrency world, obviously, because that's how we actually came to see the growth that we saw on Bitcoin. That's how we came to see the growth on GameStop. GameStop had no intrinsic value, but the more people jumped into it, the more valid it seemed. What about Tesla, right? The more people jumped into it, the valid, more valid it seems. Now, how did these validity of the network effect come about? Well, it came about through what's called a community. With GameStop, it was Wall Street Bets. With Tesla, it was Elon Musk. He was forming a community. People followed him and that's what happened. And we also see it not only in financial instruments, but we also see it in things like politics, right? What about Donald Trump? What did he bring to the table? I don't want to get too political, but there you have it, guys. There is seriously some validity. No, I wouldn't even say some. I, there is some very strong validity behind the network effect. And so when network effect is the fuel behind the real growth factor, then it's only fair that Raul Paul makes an assessment and compares with DeFi that community tokens are actually gonna do far better. So what are these community tokens? We've seen things like NFTs, right? And NFTs are predominantly based around things like, you know, basketball, NBA, you know, we've seen Space Jam, you know, come onto the platform. We've seen Fox TV, which had like things like Rick and Morty paraphernalia and that jumps into the NFT space. We've seen gaming stuff as well. And Raul Paul examples, Disney, that what if Disney created its own cryptocurrency, that by owning it, you can trade Disney paraphernalia, you can actually go to theme parks, get a discount, watch the movie a week earlier. The community, the direct access that Disney would have to its community is going to be extremely powerful because right now, they would borrow from other communities as in pay advertising on other platforms like Apple TV, Netflix and Facebook and Twitter and other social media, right? TikTok. But they don't have to do that because they are going to be forming their own community where they're going to have direct access with their clients, with their community. And they can do that with the power of crypto. Same things can happen. You know, if you look at TikTok and the way people influence others, we create a community and we have better access and direct access to the community through these social platforms. And we become very, very fundamental to it, right? You know, the, the very nature of communities, right? We form communities out of religion. We form communities out of our nationality, uh, our interests, right? But each of these communities can become like a nation of it in itself and have currency that rules over it. It will only be a matter of time that we see Facebook and Apple come up with their own cryptocurrency. And Facebook kind of already has because Facebook is about to launch their own cryptocurrency, DM, right? It's gonna be a stable currency and it's going to become their way of accessing their own communities. And that is gonna be extremely powerful. And that's the reason why Raul Powell looks at 
community tokens, right? And sees extreme validity behind it. So what are some community tokens that are in the space right now? NFT is a really, really strong space for communities because what NFT is basically artwork and unique things, you know, it's going to be music, it's going to be movie, it's, it's going to be games, right? And it's going to have a community behind it. And no wonder they're going to do well. So all of these cryptocurrencies that are behind NFTs are going to do really well. Axie Infinity, right? We've seen some crazy growth in that recent times. And then that's because it formed the community around it. It formed the community by providing a way of living, right? For people who are out of jobs, right? People who are in low socioeconomic regions of the world. What about Decentraland, you know, where people can gather and they can talk about things and, and, and play games that's very very strong and it's forming a community these community-based social tokens is basically what Raul Paul is saying will do really really well into the future and one that will even beat the hotness of summer that we've experienced with DeFi in 2020 and one that will potentially experience in 2021 as well so with that being said, just thought I'd digest and dissect the discussion between Raul Pal and the DeFi. Obviously, go check out that channel. If you want to subscribe to them, you surely can. But of course, please go and subscribe to my channel. Go check out my social pipes. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated on cryptocurrency news. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave your thoughts below. Peace out.